welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about best high fuel snacks for muscle gain for rugby players. Uh, a lot of people wanna be putting on muscle or even losing fat. Having good snacks is gonna make a big difference. Now, I used to be on their whole seafood diet. So you would see any food and you would eat it all and that would help me bulk up back in the day. But I tell you right now, that just led to a whole bunch of gut distress and inflammation and like my joints hurt. And sure, I was only 18, but all my joints hurt and I was bigger, but like I, I wasn't uh, able to move fast. I wasn't fluid. Like it, it really impacted me. And I know long term, it definitely impacted my gut health. Um, it was atrocious. The uh, protein farts were terrible. And the... Um, I, I actually, as I got older, I got a lot of really bad acid reflux. And so like changing my diet really helped that and then actually having to then go and fix my whole gut bacteria, which is a whole nother conversation. Um, but I don't want you to have to go there. So I wanna try and help you go down the right road of eating the right snacks. Okay, so first of all, when you're doing your diet, so go back and watch our first video because you need to have that basis of how much you're gonna be eating, okay? And then maybe you're doing sports in between, maybe you're going to the gym and we're gonna talk about supplements another time, but this one is just gonna be purely snacks, okay? So best snack there ever is. Um, and I've forgotten one, uh, my noodle snack. Whereas, I think this pen's not gonna work. Anyway, the best on the go snack is biltong, okay? Or dried steak, jerky. If you can get some good quality, so like I like barbell biltong, I don't have an affiliate with them, but one of my favorites because you can just snack on, it's just steak. All right, it's just cut up steak and you can just snack on that. It's high protein, high fat. It's gonna give you exactly what you need um, in terms of energy. So it's a really good snack. I love snack on that. You add that to some rice cakes, um, butter and avo, and you have yourself a real deal meal. Like at least like that's, that's better than what you, if you go to Macca's, that's gonna be terrible, right? For your insides. But that is actually gonna be good for you, right? And you're gonna get good energy. Now, protein smoothie. Now, I'm not saying go to Coles and buy one of their protein smoothies, um, but like if you get a high quality protein powder, okay? So like for kids, they don't really need this. Like just give them some milk, all right? If they, if they tolerate milk, if they don't tolerate milk, look into uh, goat milk. If you can get goat milk, they'll probably be able to tolerate that, okay? And that's just to do with the enzymes and that and what's in milk compared to uh, goat milk. So goat milk, sheep milk, I find that kids can actually tolerate that a lot better if they have problems with normal milk. Okay, it doesn't have the lactose um, or as high lactose. Um, but yeah, protein, if you get a good protein powder, a whey protein isolate or whey protein concentrate, generally I look at professional whey, bulk nutrients, ones that don't have other stuff in with it. Like you just want the plainest thing that you can get that's got protein in it. Okay, usually I'll, I'll, I'll put yogurt with that and I'll put strawberries. So if I was trying to lose weight, I probably wouldn't do that. Okay, I would probably be looking at my calories and I'm like, look, I can't really afford that, okay? But for someone trying to gain weight, especially kids, a protein smoothie before they go off and do their sport, great. That can be really helpful. Dark chocolate. Oh, who's, who's this person saying you can have dark chocolate? Dark chocolate is actually high in magnesium, okay? So a lot of people, most of the population is deficient in magnesium. Okay, and magnesium is really critical for how your body responds, um, how the muscles respond, all these different uh, things and like how you relax, magnesium, okay? So dark chocolate can be actually a really good snack. All right, once again, need to work out how much you're actually eating, but mixed berries, yogurt, mixing these things together, mince and meat. So like, I like to, if, I'm, if I know I'm gonna be out, I'm, I've got to meal prep a bit more. Um, sometimes a whole bunch of mince, meatballs, patties, really simple and easy. Like you can heat that up in two seconds. Like you can make that in 10 minutes probably. Like it's, it's really quick. All right, I'm gonna come over this side and we have milk and maple syrup. This is my key for building muscle. If you tolerate milk, and I'm not talking about nut milks because they are not real milks. I am talking about real milk. All right, if you tolerate it, great, maple syrup, high protein, high fat, um, and then high carbohydrates with the maple syrup. Don't get maple tasting syrup, get actual maple syrup because it actually can be okay for you. Like it's actually got stuff in it. Um, it's actually got minerals in it, okay? 
really important. Honey, that's another one. So like, before you go and play footy, have some honey. It's a really good, um, it's fructose. It'll stay in the liver and it'll actually give you some good energy. Eggs, boiled eggs can be a really easy one on the go. And the one I was missing, this is one of my favorites actually of going fishing because I'm out all day. You get a, um, especially in cold weather. In winter, I love this snack. What you can get is rice noodles. So rice noodles plus bone broth. I know that's terrible handwriting, but rice noodles and bone broth. Okay, one of the best things I ever like started having, and when I did it and I showed my mates, they were like, wow, this is actually really good. It's like two minute noodles, but actually the healthy version without all the other rubbish. So rice noodles should just be rice. Okay, white rice. Um, you can get them in most stores. And wow, well, bone broth. I would actually go and get yourself like a good bone broth or make it yourself. Really cheap, really easy to do. But also, once again, super high in different nutrients that you need. Um, it, is, it does have a lot of collagen in it too. Like you, you need collagen to repair things. But it's just a really nice snack. Like it's literally, you just put it in there and it's like two minute noodles. So this is a nice short video, but these are some of my favorite snacks. They can help you put on weight um, if you're not putting on um, enough weight. Um, yeah, they can also help you lose weight. So like picking smart options like biltong can be a really easy thing that satiates you and you're not gonna hit a high calories, okay? So biltong can be something to help you lose weight too. So yeah, these are my best high protein snacks.